tired of farming easy mode and being a poor beta male? Well, I got the guide for you. We are going to alpha grind until you are a billionaire. Okay, I have the guide for you. You want to be hard mode? I got you right here. Here's my team, Team Legend. I got to thank all these guys for helping me with the strat. Drag put a lot of time into it. Theo put a lot of testing into it. So did Sad. I put in one point like four mil testing it in the beginning. We have developed this strat. We have tweaked it. We have every scenario written out. I will show you guys the guide. All right, come right up. So let's talk items. So I'm going to be a little bit understocked because I've been doing the runs all day. But basically what you want is you want uh, 10 awakenings. I don't have any awakenings. Um, don't be me. Buy 10 awakenings. Buy 10 full heals. Buy 5 full restores. 5 max revives. Uh, you want at least like, I normally buy like 20 lumberries and like 20 chesto berries, but all you really need is five or three. For max potions, uh, they recommended is 10. I like to just have like five on me at all times, but 10, 10's good. 10's will last you a few runs. Uh, 10 hyper potions. Like, don't be me. I'm severely underprepared. Okay. I've been running all day. Uh, I'm just too lazy to buy some, but 10 hyper potions and you want 10 X attacks and 10 X specials. Um, you want at least five X speeds and then for revives, I always have revival herbs. I would have at least 10 revival herbs and then you want 10 of each cookie. So you want like 10 ghost cookie, 10 pumpkin cookie, 10 cat cookie, and then like at least four broom cookies. But if you're going to do runs, you need a broom cookie every run. So you should at least have like, you should always have at least one broom cookie on you at all times. And that should, that should be, that should set you up for pretty much every run. Just make sure you have an antidote for everything. Uh, make sure you have healing items. Uh, full heal is really important. Max potion is really important. And then max revive is the emergency button. These are the two most important stats. Make sure you have exactly around 272 HP and low defense, uh, whatever that may entail. Uh, make sure you have the exact HP stat. That's the most important part. So whatever your EVs and IVs are in your nature, you want 272 HP. Um, here are my EV spread. I have You always max out speed. I maxed out defense. And I put some in HP, but like I said, make sure you have 272 HP. If that entails you EV training it to have 272, then do that. And then dump the rest in defense. The um, IVs, I have max HP, max attack, max special def uh, max speed. Attack doesn't matter, um, but go over that. I have high defense, special defense as well. Just make sure you're following as close as you can to my using stats. This is because you'll see later in the video that phase one, the... Earth power RNG varies highly, and depending on whether or not Weezing goes to yellow HP, um, it decides whether or not it's going to double Earth power, which negates trick or treat. So just make sure you carry, carry my stats. Um, his item's going to be Chesto Berry, and the move set is really important. You want a Taunt. Taunt is the most important move here. Assurance is decent. Shadow Ball is decent just to have some attack moves, but really all you need is Taunt. And he has a Chesto Berry to get prevent slept. So next, you want a Modest Hydreigon. Modest Hydreigon is going to be EV trained in special attack and speed. Um, I don't know why he has some defense. I should have maxed out the speed, but basically he always wants to be the fastest one on the board. I've not had no issues with 232 speed, so it doesn't really matter, but make sure you max out your speed. Next is going to be IVs. I have max HP, but all you really need is max special attack and special um, sp uh, and speed. All you need is max special attack and speed. Uh, modest nature, of course. The attacks are going to be Dark Pulse. Snarl, and that's it. All you need, really need is Dark Pulse and Snarl. Snarl is going to be the move you use mainly. Dark Pulse is just in case. And then it's going to be Choice Spec, of course. And the ability is not really important. You just need Levitate. Reactive Gas is required on Weezing. Make sure you have a Reactive Gas Weezing. Next is going to be an Adamant Honstro for my buddy Triss. Uh, it's going to be 31 uh, Attack, 31 Speed, and maxed out, 30, uh, maxed out EVs on Attack and Speed. The other six does not matter. I'd put an HP, but it's in special defense. And it's going to have a Lumberry. The um, the ability doesn't really matter. Insomnia Auto is decent. Auto shutdown initiated. Insomnia is decent, but um, it doesn't really matter. Next, you want Adamant Tyranitar. Adamant Tyranitar is going to have attack and speed. I have random special defense IV. It does not matter. You want to max out EVs on attack and speed. It's going to be choice banded. Uh, choice banded is really important. Make sure it's choice banded because it's really just going to be spamming assurance. Uh, Honshko, of course, is going to have Lumberry. And then last but not least, you're going to have a Chandelier. You can do Modest. Modest is a little bit better. I have Timid. Um, I just like having a fast Chandelier, but I've had no issues with it. Uh, my buddy Drag, who actually helped make the guide for this video, he tweaked and optimized the guide a lot. He actually has um, put a lot of time and effort into this. So I want to give him a shout out. 
but he likes to call Chandelier the pocket bazooka when he has um, Ghost Gem. And uh, he's just really backup. He's your backup plan when everything goes wrong in phase three and you just need to finish it. So special attack, speed, IVs, um, and then the IVs. Um, I have HP, I have special attack, I have speed. Not 31 though, it doesn't really matter. And then your last slot is your free particle mon. So make sure you have that. Uh, abilities, make sure that you're using um, using reactive gas wheezing. That's the most important part. And then Sandstream Tyranitar can help too. Um, I like it personally, but sometimes it messes up your run. But Sandstream does some tick damage on the boss at phase three, which could be make or break sometimes. And then you have your free particle slot. And here's the move set for Chandelier. All you really need on him is Shadow Ball. That's really it. Just make sure you have Shadow Ball. Alrighty guys, so we're going to phase one. Phase one's pretty consistent. Uh, the only RNG is damage dealt to Weezing using Earth Power. Hopefully, you're hoping for a low, a low below 50 amount, or at least 50, exactly 50% on Weezing in the beginning. So we're going to taunt, we're going to snarl, and we're going to use X Special on Hydreigon. Okay. It clears both adds. The damage on Pumpkin does not matter. Phase one is going to... It's pretty negligible, and I think he heals it back in phase two and three. So, or yeah, phase two and three, it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna Weezing is gonna taunt. It's gonna use Earth Power and Weezing. We're we're praying for uh, around fifty percent. If it's fifty two percent, it's kind of bad. Nice forty nine point three. That is perfect. Actually, a bit high, but um, I think it's okay. I think I'll still double Earth Power. If not, Trick or Treat happens, which is again more RNG. You never really want RNG in your runs. Here we're going to use X attack on Honchkrow. We're going to Snarl and we're going to Assurance. Twenty-eight point eight percent. Always does that amount of damage on Snarl plus two, and then Honchkrow Assurance should be twenty-nine point eight. Yep, or twenty-eight point nine. Yep. Yep. Trick or treat. Unfortunate. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. Weezing's Ghost type. Hydreigon's ability suppressed. And that's it. Okay, I'm happy with that. So here we're going to try to get... Um, here we're just going to heal Weezing. Uh, we're going to give him a Hyper Potion. Uh, because giving Hydreigon X Special will just increase his damage by, point, by 1%, which is not really useful here. It's more useful in other, ter in other phases, but not this phase. So we're going to use a Hyper Potion here. Hyper Potion on Weezing. We're going to Snarl. And we're going to Assurance. Assurance is good. It's gonna be kind of low. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens. Turn two, bad candy on Honchkrow. That's fine. Stole my Chestaberry. That's fine. And Hydreigon is burnt. Honchkrow, don't get anything weird, bro. I'm begging you. Poisoned. That's fine. Um, so we're just gonna use a ghost cookie here because i have a bunch they're kind of cheap right now just get rid of that status effects we're going to snarl and we're going to assurance and this should be end of phase one normally phase one is in this rng um basically if you get double earth powered on wheezing it only it, if wheezing is at 50 percent or 50 is below 50 percent it'll earth power a second time and there's high ch chance that it'll survive it'll survive two earth powers and survive in turn three not having um not having trick or treat that second turn really helps out with the stability of the strat. So phase two is actually more RNG than phase one. Um, we should be okay though. If there's no trick or treat, but it should be okay. So phase two, we're not going to taunt on Weezing. We are going to actually X special and then X attack on Honchkrow. And phase two, the HP on Honchkrow does not matter, so don't really worry about that. So we're going to X special on Hydreigon, we're going to Snarl, and we're going to use X 
attack on Honchkrow. So two buffs, one Snarl. Snarl hits everything, perfect. Sometimes it misses, which I really hope doesn't happen. It, it's quite a run destroyer if you miss a Snarl. Fever Dreams, hopefully Hydreigon doesn't get slept. Weezing and Hydreigon were slept, that is fine. Uh, we'll use a full heal on Hydreigon just to top his HP off and we should be okay. Because it's the damage of the Tangling Vines. Barrier's broken, perfect. We are going to use a full heal. Hydreigon, we're going to Snarl, and we're going to Assurance. Here, if uh, Hydreigon wasn't slept, you would give him plus two special attack, so he's doing the max cap of 28.9% damage to Pumpkin. But he did it anyways, um, because it was a crit, of course. RNG carried, guys. Assurance, 28.9%. And it should leave it at 42%, which means we kill it next turn. We're using dodge, Honchkrow dodged, Hydreigon slept, of course. And we're just going to full heal again. I don't know if it's necessary, but I liked my Hydreigon to go into uh, phase, phase 3 with full HP. It's going to be killed in the next, um, after this turn. So we're going to full heal, we're going to snarl, and we're going to assurance, and it should be around 10% HP next turn. Forty-six percent. Not my favorite, but it should be okay. Assurance goes down to seventeen. It's gonna fever dream again. Hydreigon dodge, perfect. Hashiro dodge, perfect. Weezing slept. That is fine. That is fine. We don't really care about Weezing that much, but I'm just going to fully heal him just so he has enough HP into phase three. And uh, we should kill here. Actually, we don't even need to um, full heal. We could have, like, uh, snarled, um, awakening, and then potioned him, but I'm just going to full heal just because just I have it. And then we're going to snarl. We were going to assurance. That's if you wanted to save like 3k. I don't think it's really a big deal. Because um, it's going to die to Snarl at any time. But I'm just going to make sure in case Snarl misses. Snarl did not miss. Perfect. I wasted an extra 3k on a full heal. But that's fine. I don't think it was really a big deal. The price difference is negligible. Phase 3. We're going into phase 3. Pretty much perfect. Um, Weezing's high HP, Hydreigon's high HP, and then Honchkrow's HP does not matter because if you're doing everything according to plan and Hydreigon is full HP or high HP, Honchkrow will get killed regardless, one hit KO'd by um, the Pump King. Yep. And here you're going to use... Double X special on Hydreigon, Snarl, and then X special again. There goes Honchkro. Don't freak out. Do not freak out if he dies. That is according to plan. Snarl kills both adds and does some damage to the Pump King. Perfect. This is all according to plan. They're terrified that means they're going to switch out in two turns. We summon Tyranitar. Uh, if you wanted to be a little bit more stable, you could have Tyranitar with Sandstream. Um, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. Um, I think it's just the better ability to have just in case. Here we are going to Broom Cookie because Hydreigon does have minus one special defense or minus three defense, which is not great. So we're going to Broom Cookie here. You're going to Snarl. I think you always Broom Cookie um, turn two on Weezing's turn. Uh, some of my team members have said to um, X attack on Tyranitar if Hydreigon doesn't have minus HP or minus, special, uh, minus defense or minus speed. But I like to always Broom Cookie. For me, it's more consistent. And you're going to Snarl and you're going to Assurance.
Broom Cookie helps um, mitigate scythe damage, and it causes um, some AI issues with him. Okay, that's new. So we're going back to phase, uh, we're going to do a second run, phase one as usual. Hopefully this time you guys can see uh, Weezing survive or get hit just in the sweet zone for earth power. As I said, earth power is probably the most RNG move besides snarl missing that causes runs to fail. So we're going to taunt, we're going to snarl, and we're going to use a special on Hydreigon. Perfect. Snarl so far so good. Taunt goes off. Earth power goes off on Weezing. Hopefully it's exactly 51% or 50%. It crit and did 86%. Okay. Well, this is still fine. Um, we are actually going to heal Weezing with Max Potion. Or, uh, yeah, we will heal with Max Potion. I was thinking about using Energy Root, but we'll do Max Potion. We'll Max Potion, Assurance, and Snarl. Normally you would X attack on Honchkrow, but we got unlucky in a crit. Earth power 38%, perfect. Pump Thief. Pump Thief is countered by Weezing. We are going to use X attack here 
on Honchkrow. We were going to Snarl and we were going to Assurance. And this should kill Pumpkin. Okay, Snarl missed on Pumpkin, of course. We have great RNG. But luckily, it kills the two adds. That's the bigger issue. We should kill next turn if everything goes according to plan. Luckily, we get RNG carried with the crit. Still Chesto Berry. Hydreigon was burned, and Hunchko was paralyzed. This is pretty fixable. Uh, we're just going to heal uh, Weezing using Ghost Cookie. I think we should be okay. So we're going to Ghost Cookie here. Um, not my favorite. Actually, I might not Ghost Cookie here. I think I'm okay with Weezing being kind of low. Um, I'm just going to give it a burn heal on on my dragon I'm going to snarl and i'm going to assurance and then this should kill yep it kills and then we're going to phase two it was okay um not the cleanest run i prefer wheezing to be a little bit higher but it's okay phase two we should be able to heal it later on anyways So the roots are annoying, but it's nothing to be worried about. We're going to X special, as usual. We're going to Snarl, and we're going to X attack on Honchkrow. And then we're going to pray that Snarl hits everything. Snarl hit everything, perfect. We're hoping Hydreigon doesn't get slept here. Everyone else can sleep. Hydreigon got slept. It's unfortunate. We will give him a full heal. Full heal right here on Hydreigon. We're going to Snarl and we're going to Assurance. Eventually we need to heal our uh, Weezing, but uh, I think we'll have a turn on turn three to use uh, healing on Weezing if Hydreigon doesn't get slept. Okay. Hydreigon, please don't fall asleep on me, buddy. Hydreigon dodge it. Perfect. Weezing and Huntro were both affected, but they both have berries, and we are chilling. We should kill him this turn. Actually, no, we won't because he's healing. We should kill him next turn after this. So we're going to heal Weezing here using a uh, Hyper Potion. Hyper Potion. We're going to use Snarl and we're going to Assurance. Snarl missed, of course. 5% is more like 30% of missing. We hope uh, Pump Paladin doesn't do anything crazy. Hydreigon fell asleep, Weezing fell asleep, of course. And Pump Paladin used Heal Pulse. Epic. We still win this, though, so we're okay. Uh, we're going to have to uh, full heal here on Hydreigon, and then uh, we should be okay. Weezing's going to be a bit low, but I'm okay with that. So full heal on Hydreigon, Snarl, and then Assurance. And this is just showing like how much RNG on the 5% accuracy really can mess up your runs but like this is okay we're lucky that it happened on phase two and not phase three and then honch girl finishes here nice okay going into phase three like i said honch Crow's hp does not really matter uh it doesn't matter at all actually wheezing's hp kind of matters but i think we'll be fine with the high hp we're currently at
So here you're going to double X special on Hydreigon. And uh, we shouldn't be worried about Hex because we're using Sponson with the new Chester Bear, so he should wake up as soon as it's our uh, attack turn. So we're going to wait for all these debuffs. And then we're going to double X special on Hydreigon, Snarl, X special. Yep, don't worry about if Honchko dies. That means you're doing something right. You did something wrong if Honchko doesn't die. Snarl goes off. Perfect. Pumpkin dodge Snarl. That doesn't really matter. We're okay with that. We're going to summon in Titar. I would have preferred if Pumpkin didn't dodge our Snarl, but it's honestly okay. Well, we just missed out on 9%, I think, of damage. Uh, Hydreigon is minus 1, minus 1. We're okay, so we're going to actually X attack here on Tyranitar. We're going to Snarl, and we're going to Assurance. And let me make sure that this is the correct move. Uh, yes, it is. So we're going to Assurance. Perfect. Assurance goes off. 28.8%. Perfect. And he foresaw a devastating attack. This is perfect. Turn 3, he's going to reduce all our Pokemon to 1 HP. Pump Reaper and Pump Princess. We are fine with that. So here we're going to use our Broom Cookie. Broom cookie is required for the run. Make sure you always have a broom cookie on you. Snarl, assurance. And we should be chilling. The broom cookie effect always scares me because I think I did something wrong, but we're fine. Pump Reaper gets rid of Honchro, which is fine. Snarl hits everything. Perfect. Finally, some good RNG. And then Assurance should do 28.8% or 27%. For some reason, it is not taking as much damage. There is the reduce everyone to 1 HP move. And then everyone gets switched out. Here we have our pocket bazooka chandelier. And... Uh, we have our sand stream, which should be fine. And here's your particle mon. I just have a comp particle mon. It doesn't really matter, anything you want. So we're gonna shadow ball and hit him with a pocket bazooka. We're gonna hit him with an X special or X speed. And then we're going to, um, just to make sure it beats it, we're going to, I'm not sure, I think, I think it kills it anyways. X speed, shadow ball. And we won. Nice. And that's uh, phase three. Second run, back to back. And we're good to go, guys. I hope you guys made some big money. Let's see if we get any cool particles. Got my pumpkin goodie bag. And got my fan particle. Cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys made billions, if not trillions, of Pokemon. If you guys really enjoyed the guide and want to see more Pokemon content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. I would really like to thank my team for the guide and helping me grind through all this. And if you guys want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you guys.